10 things you didn't know Fluberu could do in under four minutes. Number one, include a sticker. Now you can include a sticker or digital badge for students who score at or above a certain percent. Use one of the included stickers or upload your own. Number two, great questions by hand. Don't want Fluberu to assign a score automatically? No problem. You can grade questions by hand and assign any score you wish after reviewing the student's submission. Even enter optional notes for the student to be shown in their email. Number three, use a spreadsheet formula as an answer key. Are you a spreadsheet guru? You can use a spreadsheet formula as your answer key to do all sorts of advanced grading, such as pattern matching, VLOOKUPs, and more. Grade numerical ranges. Using Fluberu to grade math and science assignments and want to allow for a little bit of wiggle room in your answer? No problem. You can set an upper and lower bound using the percent to or percent PM for plus minus modifiers in your answer key. In this case, answers from 98 to 102 would be correct and anything outside that range would be incorrect. Number five, partial credit for checkbox questions. Typically when grading a checkbox question in a Google form, the student has to check all the same boxes you did in your answer key to get the question right. But with the percent CV or checkbox modifier in your answer key, now you can assign partial credit if the student checked at least some of the correct answers. Number six, assign extra credit. Want to assign an extra credit question or two? No problem. Go into the advanced options from the Fluberu menu and check allow extra credit when assigning points to questions. The next time you grade, you'll see a column called extra credit in step one where you can assign questions extra credit. Number seven, ignore a question. Fluberu already gives you the ability to skip grading on a question, but the content of that question will still show up in the email sent to the student. Instead, you might want to ignore a question entirely, which means the student won't even know it existed in the graded assignment. To do that, go into the advanced options and check show additional grading options in step one of grading. Then you can choose ignore the next time you grade. Number eight, increase the points. Many teachers have written asking if we could increase the number of points assignable to a question past the default of 10. Now you can set the maximum to anything you want as high as 99. The next time you grade, you'll be able to choose a much higher value. Number nine, customize emails. When sending emails, many teachers have concerns about students sharing their responses or the questions with one another. To avoid this, you can now click on show advanced options to pick more advanced options for how questions and content are shared in the emails. For example, instead of including all questions, you can choose to only include questions with correct answers or incorrect answers. And you can also choose whether or not you want to include the student's own response, which is checked by default. Number 10, adhere to standards-based grading. By default, Fluber will show when sharing grades the student's score in both points and percent at the top of their drive document or email. But if your school uses standards-based grading, you may not want to show this. Instead, from the advanced options, you can choose to show the points only with no percent, or to show neither points nor percent. If you choose the latter option, be sure to at least include some sort of score or grade to the student when assigning them individual feedback. Hope you learned something from this video. Happy grading and happy 2017.